Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard. Obviously it is molded in 135 scale as it's written here and it copies BM824 based on 1.5 tons truck. So as you can see that's a missile launcher on the base of the Soviet truck. And now we have a commercial sample so it means you get exactly the same kit if you order it from any good model shop. It can be even Modelimax, they should have this kit for sure. So let's open it and take a look inside. So first of all here we have nice box art, here you can see comparison with my hand. It's not that big box but it is quite heavy, surprisingly heavy for its size. Then here we have some information about the kit. Um, there is no parts count but at least we have some advices uh, that it's not suitable for children th 3 year old. Then here we have two marking options, but I hope that there are more and if there are not like more than two then you can replicate something with your own hands. So this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside. So all plastic sprues are packed into the same plastic bag and then we have assembly manual on the bottom. We will check manual a bit later. We will start obviously with plastic sprues and meanwhile this is a sealed plastic bag so I will be opening it with scissors but meanwhile let me remind you that we are gathering money for the new photo and video equipment and you can help us. Some of you already did and you can do it by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy and it is quite safe because it's done via PayPal. And of course you will be the one who will decide how much you will get for the new photo and video equipment. But believe me, all this stuff will be used uh, in order to improve quality of our photo and video reviews. You can see it and even hear it with your own eyes and ears. So we can grow even better would say with your help. So here we have first plastic bag, I would like to cut it and cut it open and check this clear plastic sprue closer. So just give me a second. Okay, so what do we have here? We have here first this decals sheet and just give me a second to focus. Now you should be able to see it. So as you can see here we have various stencils, obviously they will be used for missiles and from the other side there is nothing, so really nice printing quality and I hope that application will be easy as well. Okay, let's move on. Here we have clear plastic sprue. Uh, this one features all necessary parts for this truck, so it means glasses, cap glasses and also these lenses for the headlamps and also one lens for the tail light. Molding quality looks okay I would say, as you can see they are a bit on thick side I would say. And those who are not satisfied with such quality, they can use some vacuum uh, canopies, actually not canopies, but clear parts, or maybe even replace it with some thin film. But in both cases you will need masks, because masks are not included into this kit. Next we have this small envelope, as you can see it features this nice Miniard logo. And inside we have tiny P thread with some parts for fine detailing of this model here. You can see it, obviously these parts are unpainted and you have to, actually that's a plus because you have to paint them with your own hands and tools. Next we have um, this interesting plastic sprue, this is actually the first one out of all those grey plastic sprues. Here we have wheel parts. So I guess this one will be used as a spare tire and as you can see whole tire should be assembled out of these sections. We have here special pins which will help you with proper alignment. Let me focus the camera. Now you should be able to see it and here is this tire from the other side. We even have some writings on the tires which is quite impressive for out of the box detailing. I'm not sure how detailing will look once you combine all these sections together. But it's really cool that we have some fine detailing out of the box. Okay. Next we have several um, similar plastic sprues. Actually there are three of them. I'll focus the camera for you. Now we should be able to see them. Here we have various uh, wheel ports. And while tires should be assembled in the same way. Uh, we also have separate rims. And also some minor elements here you can see. And again, molding quality seems to be impressive. Here you can see these parts from the other side. 
So I really doubt that you have any problems with those parts. It's just a matter of assembling them together and then installing on the vehicle. Next we have again the same plastic sprues here, here and here. So there are six of them. Obviously we will check only one because there is no need to check them all especially if they carry the same parts. So just give me a second. Okay, so here we have rails for this missile launcher. As you can see, they are molded in a quite nice quality. We have all holes already pre-cut, let's say, or drilled. So you won't have to cut anything extra inside these holes. And there is no flash inside those parts. Just give me a second to focus the camera. Now you should be able to see it. So as you can see, there is no problematic spot inside. So I guess it will be easy to work with those parts. Okay, next we have cap parts. Here we have first panels. Let's refocus the camera. Now you should be able to see it. So this is a rear panel. This is a bonnet or maybe a roof. I think it's roof. Here we have front bumper and also some other minor elements. And those thin parts, they will require some due care because as far as I remember, it is quite easy to break those parts. Here you can see them from the other side. Okay, uh, next, I'm not sure what this one will be, but it is included here. So I guess it will be handy in this build. Now next we have suspension parts. They are given on those two identical plastic frames. Let me show you only one pair. Let's flip it over. Here we have a lot of small tiny parts. As you can see here, comparison with my finger, they're really small. So be careful and try not to lose them because there are no spare parts in this kit. And then you have to solve this problem if you lose them somewhere. Then here we have um, plastic sprue with more of the car chassis parts. We also have fuel tanks. And again, molding quality is really great. And as you can see, attachment points are placed right on the edges. So I think it will be easy to separate those parts. But do not hurry with this because it will be easy to get some problematic situations with those. Now I'm trying to understand if those are real, um, actually the same plastic sprues. I think so. So let me show you. There are eight plastic sprues like this. So I will show you only one. Obviously they were dedicated to the missiles. Let's bring them closer and refocus the camera. Now you should be able to see them. So here we have missiles which are molded as a one piece parts here, but you have to install also separate tail fins because they're not pre-molded on one side as you can see, but it's not such a difficult work. The difficult work will be to paint this, especially if you consider the amount of the stencils on them, it will be quite a funny process. Then here we have another pair of identical plastic frames. Again, nothing special in a good sense, I would say. Really nice detailing. Uh, again, thin parts. So again, you have to be extra careful with those. Uh, here are two more identical frames. Various storage boxes. I guess this will be used as uh, ammo boxes. Next, we have more of those ammo boxes. This is a different type as far as I can see. And here you can see it from the other side. Okay. And next, just give me a second. Next we have interconnection between small frames here. And this one is a bit interesting because as you can see, we have again some front cap parts, roof. Um, also, this is a also roof as far as I can understand. We also have various um, side panels. These are um, special side panels which are installed on the front cap. And here we have thin parts. So it will be interesting to check assembly manual in order to understand which ones will be used and which ones will go into your spare parts box. Then here we have parts for the missile launcher rail station. So as you can see here, we have various separate panels. Those look quite good. I can bring them closer for you so that you can see them in detail. Here you can see several parts and here several more. Really nice molding quality, but assembly of all this stuff will require some nerves because it's really an you know, interesting process, I would say. Next we have those parts for the chassis. So let's refocus the camera, zoom out. 
here you can see them, there's some main bars and also we have some parts for the transmission and again overall I have nothing to say about the molding quality because it looks great and the only thing is that you have to work with all those tiny parts and here it becomes even more obvious because as you can see it is just filled with all tiny parts and in 135 scale it will be a bit crazy I would say okay so these are all grey plastic sprues and now we have assembly manual left here it is assembly manual is printed in form of this nice brochure uh, now we don't have a parts count on the first page and then we have parts map and there are no parts which are marked as a non-used it is quite surprising here we have assembly process which starts with engine then we continue with main chassis so uh, the sleeve springs then we assemble tires so as you can see you have to combine three and four sections and then combine them together with rim between we install engine on the chassis we continue with transmission now uh, various suspension ports again we assemble rear wheels rear wheels will be a bit more complex because we will have to combine several wheels uh, here we continue with uh, cap floor as you can see it will be assembled already together with pedals and steering wheel and also some control cones uh, here we continue with bonnet ports front panel then roof rear panel doors the side skirts then the side skirts are installed together now with the front cap what else do we have here uh, headlamps bonnet ports and note that bonnet you can position either in open or closed um, version so it will be up to you which one you choose obviously it is worth opening the bonnet because you have the engine inside and it will look good once you open it and and then we start with assembly of the missile launcher stand as you can see there will be several positions it is a combat position and transport position it will be up to you which one you choose but obviously they will be different visually so just keep it in mind and maybe you're planning to build some diorama so it will the final choice will depend on your project then here you can see now um, actually the difference between transport position and combat position so let's move here we have the combat position as you can see the stands are retracted and also some other things are deployed and in total you have to perform 52 steps which is quite impressive for 35 scale kit here we continue with marking guide for these uh, rockets and boxes as you can see you have to paint them in several marking options also we have here the covers chart and note that covers chart is provided in several manufacturer designations or cover codes and here we have two marking options so in total there are two marking options as you can see one is green and one is finished in winter uh, camouflage obviously it will be up to you how you vary all those markings there is a huge space for some improvisation I would say but overall it looks quite interesting project in my opinion um, especially if you consider assembling some diorama in 135 scale this might be a perfect choice with some figurines of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below once again i remind you that you can support us by pressing the donate button on our website and i will see in the next video review as usual bye